But what's up guys? Today we're going to do our first two segment video. So we're going to talk about the Rivers of Light and the details of the new Play Pavilion and Black Box Ride concept coming to Hollywood Studios in Epcot. Animal Kingdom in Florida had the Rivers of Light debuted not too recently, just a couple years ago. But then they just updated it this, uh, just last month on Earth Day, April 22nd. They updated the Rivers of Light show at the Animal Kingdom, gave it a new name called Rivers of Light We Are One. These now feature Disney characters such as the Lion King, Beauty and the Beast, Frozen, Bambi, Lady and the Tramp, different kind of animal themed movies or animals from Disney movies as part of the show. Quoting from the Disney Parks blog here, we have Rivers of Light, We Are One introduces additional stunning imagery and familiar animal characters from Disney nature films along with a colorful tapestry of classic moments from Disney animation to express our connection with animals and the emotions and milestones we all share in our journey through a great circle of light. Rivers of Light, We Are One reaves together original music score and familiar Disney themes to create a powerful arrangement that inspires and carries us through moments of discovery, fun, and friendship, fear, love, and fear family and debuted just last week Memorial Day weekend for the summer season at Animal Kingdom Park. I hope to go back for the 50th anniversary or soon. Very excited to go back and um, go check out Disney World. So comment below guys what do you guys think of the new Rivers of Light show? Um, do you like the inclusion of Disney characters that you think was too generic? Have you even seen the Rivers of Light? Comment below. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? We're at our second topic of today and we'll continue with Walt Disney World as we're jumping up parks to Epcot. Epcot, as we know, as you know, is going through a massive renovation. Starting with the entrance plaza that it's is currently being under construction. And now I have some new details for you on what's gonna be inside the play pavilion that was recently announced. Um we did uh, another video just a few days ago. I'll link it up there. Epcot's West, the Western innovations being potentially demolished, but the East side is going to be renovated. And one of those things that's gonna be is the Play Pavilion that's taking over the Innovations East building. Inside this Play Pavilion, it's gonna be a huge interactive environment and it will encompass several things. Some of the main things will be um, the Animation Academy will return. This time it will return under the guidance of Edna Mode and the Incredibles. Guests will once again be able to learn how to draw Disney characters in this off relocated offering that was once housed at the Magic of Disney Animation at Hollywood Studios. For those Zootopia, Zootopia fans out there, Nick and Judy are going to host an interactive game called The Hotel Heist. It should be an attraction, uh, probably like a VR attraction, almost like what they have at Downtown Disney and uh, Disney Springs with the voids, something like that. Because again, the building's large, but the actual space for this attraction it will be small. So I feel like it could be some kind of uh, VR or escape room type ordeal going on there. They also have some character meet and greets with Rack and Ralph, Vanellope, Joy and Sadness, Bayma and Baymax. There's going to be permanent meet and greets um, instead of temporary ones that they have throughout the park. And then adjacent to the Wreck-It Ralph meet and greet, guests will find an arcade as well as a play area for toddlers. Um, so almost like Starcade at Disneyland, or the former Starcade. Lastly, um, live performers will take the stage in the very center of the pavilion, roughly where the uh, goofy about health was making of me and 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 then god I can't say it's word anomical it's a n a c o m i c a l sorry if I mispronounced it but it's an anomical and an anomical stages and theaters once stood so far there are no plans as of yet to use the large show buildings for the once housed body wars or the cranium command during this initial phase all of the offerings that I just mentioned above will be held under the main dome. Yeah, apparently, according to operations, still refuses to hand over the body, body wars and cranium command spaces to Walt Disney Imagineering. So those will be left empty for now until Imagineering can get a hold on them. One last thing here is 
a black box ride that could be um, heading to Hollywood Studios could be coming to this play pavilion concept. A black box ride, very interesting. It's a new concept, and what what happened was it'd be like a basically an entirely screen based ride that can be interchangeable from to different things. So it could be, let's say, Toy Story. So let's say you start off with Toy Story. You get in some ride vehicles, go along a track, to theme all screens to Toy Story characters. Six months later, let's say people hate the Toy Story ride. Those screens, that Toy Story ride, just in a snap, could be switched with Star Wars theme or an Incredibles theme, an entirely different ride. Same kind of layout and track, but it's all screens, hence a black box, and it can be changed out to anything, which is quite an interesting concept and something that could be heading to Hollywood Studios in 2021 and potentially make its way to the Play Pavilion. So that'll be very interesting to watch. And we'll, we'll be going out and checking that out. Um, but that is it so far. Uh, what's going on in the Play Pavilion. We'll find more details hopefully at D23 in August. Comment below, guys. What do you guys want in the Play Pavilion? What do you think of these offerings? And also, what do you think of that black box ride concept? Comment your thoughts below. And we'll see you next week. Plenty of good stuff with Star Wars Galaxy's Edge as well as the Jurassic World testing, signage, new concession stands should be very close to opening. Have a great week, guys.